legislation which is currently in place in the UK and Europe, uh, which prohibits the use of lead whites, except by restorers doing legitimate restoration, which is completely crazy. I mean, think of it another way. If I showed you a, a Rembrandt now and said, do you know what, it's illegal to paint like this anymore, your first reaction would be, of course, hang on a minute, why is it illegal to do a portrait? But it's actually the, the ingredients, that, that, that lead white, which I know is so unique to some of, some of the guys out there, the handling qualities. But alas, as I say, um, the powers of B have decided that the competence of artists is such that you can't differentiate between a, a mayonnaise and a toothpaste and a tube of paint. But to my knowledge, in the 30, 40 years I've been making paint, I, I can't think of a single artist that I know of who, who's, who's died from lead poisoning. You get the odd person who claims that their lead levels are up, um, but not died. But then again, you can go into millions of stores around the world and buy tobacco-based products and kill yourself, as we all know. I think something like 82 million people die a year in the Western world from smoking-related illnesses. So compared to not even one person that I know of has died from ingesting lead-white paint. So the world's gone mad.